Hi, everyone. Welcome to my video. I'm Milica Grahovac, and I work with Michael Wetter's team at the Simulation Research Group here at Berkeley Lab. You're watching the first video in our Simulation with Control Description Language, or CDL, intro series created for the BEST Center Annual Institute 2020. BEST stands for Building Efficiency for a Sustainable Tomorrow. Simulation in time is relatively simple. It resembles feeling how your home slowly gets warmer when you first turn on a heater on a cold day by setting the thermostat to a temp temperature higher than the current room temperature. When this experiment is instead performed on a computer using a model of a home in a simulation environment, the perceived increase in the room temperature gets replaced by a mere curve on the graph that indicates how high or how low the temperature is at the simulation as the simulation time elapses while your actual heating system gets replaced by a model of such a heating system. If this is something that attracts your interest, then I can suggest that you try simulating HVAC systems, subsystems, and controls of various levels of complexity using the Modelica language. To initiate this, you will need a personal computer, access to the internet, and this tutorial. Some of you may even start building your own models after you learn some of the basics. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download Open Modelica software, which contains a simulation environment, and the Modelica Buildings library, which contains models at many different levels of complexity, from a simple sum to an entire floor of a building coupled with an HVAC system. Both the Open Modelica software and the Modelica Buildings Library are freely available to, to the public. Let us begin with the download of the Open Modelica software. I will navigate to openmodelica.org to downloads tab and select my system and currently I'm using Windows so I will click here here is the latest official release and then I will select 64-bit because my system is a 64-bit. Look for an executable file and then click on that and select save file. While this is downloading, I can go fetch the Modelica Buildings library. For that, I would like to navigate to simulation research dot lbl dot gov slash modelica and under download there is the latest official release version 7.0.0 I will download this as well and save that file. Let us check if the Open Modelica installer has completed the download so that we can start the installation. I can initiate the installation by double clicking on the installer. And I can then authorize the installation. I can simply follow through if I don't want to automatically install additional libraries. I can unclick this. It will take less space for you. I accept the default location. And 
I let the installer perform the installation. In the meantime, I would like to unzip the Modelica Buildings library at a convenient location on my computer. And I prefer to simply drag this file on my desktop. Once the installation is complete, you can click on Next and finish the installation. The Open Modelica Connection Editor probably popped up right after you finish the installation. For any future time when you'd like to open the Open Modelica Connection Editor, you can go to Start and then type OM Edit and select Open Modelica Connection Editor. Let's take a brief look around. Here on the left is a libraries browser. We can see that we already have the Modelica standard library automatically loaded here in the libraries browser. Diagonally from here, there are a few tabs or buttons, and we will be using modeling and plotting quite often. Above this area is where you will see the variables, but also something very useful, and that would be our model documentation. So it will be your main source of information as you encounter models for the first time or when you would like to refresh your memory about the functionalities of a certain model. To load the Modelica Buildings Library, you can go to File, Open Model Library Files, navigate to where you've saved your library, select package.mo, and click Open. It will take a little bit, and then you will be able to navigate the models contained in the buildings library. In the next video, we will take a look at how to simulate and investigate the results for the system on-off simulation model. That simulation model is here in the examples tutorials, CDL, and controls. You can see system on off. Thank you for viewing my video. Enjoy simulating and see you in the next video that is about simulating a simple controller in CDL. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the Modelica Buildings Library, please visit further educational materials through the links posted in the video description. See you soon.